people around me so jesse begging for forgiveness aisha yesus who reacts a popular human rights activist and co-convener of bring back a guest campaign aisha yesus who has taken to her twitter handle to question the repentant Boko Haram members who begged Nigerians for forgiveness. Repentant Boko Haram members and Aisha Yusuf. According to Aisha Yusuf, she stated that despite all the people killed by the Boko Haram and Israel fighters, who would Nigeria and Nigeria army forgive say, the terrorists for? She made this known after a woman lamented that she wouldn't forgive the Boko Haram members that killed her husband, his brother, and his mom. Recall that the Nigeria Army had paraded the insurgents earlier, as reported by major news outlets, with placards in their hands, asking Nigerians for forgiveness and also noting that they have embraced peace and have bid terrorism a goodbye. According to available statistics, the total number of Boko Haram and Isra fighters have that have surrendered to the Nigeria army is 1,081 with 355 insurgents and 746 women and adults related to the insurgents. Aisha Yusufu is asking, mm -hmm, who would Nigeria and Nigeria army forgive the terrorists for? That's the question she's asking. Your guess is as good as mine. They are not the real Boko Haram. These might be villagers that are suffering from hunger and are soliciting for government intervention. You are making sense. Hmm. This is so very funny. How did they get the Western materials they used to write? Because I remember vividly that Western education is Aram to them. Just asking. They are not genuine. I wonder who wrote the word on the placards. Who made the placards for arrested people? Nigeria is now tased by moonlight. The law has been suspended for barbarism. Waiting, you know, go see for Nigeria. Mm. Waiting, person, you know, go see. <laughs> ego, ego, chime. Waiting, person, you know, go see for Nigeria. Buhari can see this. Can see that his plan of conquering Nigeria using chaos everywhere to usher in a Fulani country has collapsed. Hence, all this drama of repentant Boko Haram. Is that army man laying hands on them, praying for them, or what? Well, they are well articulated in their plans and they have gone, they have their colleagues who are no more able to feed them with information as usual because of a um, recent listing of names that are sponsoring the activities. Now they have stylishly sent these ones into the society to help them get information at the same time collect money for logistics and that was exactly what the governor of Ben uh, Bono State said that these people that are being released that they are not genuine that majority of them have gone back to meet their Boko Haram people after they have deceived they deceived the government that they repented they've gone back they've gone back to their people and co government continues to do the same thing over and over again, telling us that they have repented, giving them clothes, giving them all manner of things, pampering them, taking care of them. Northerners are using takia, deception, against southerners. They are trickers by, trickers by nature. They can deceive you, die. Can you imagine people who cannot read and write, carrying placards? Who wrote it for them to come deceive themselves, not us? The alleged surrender is a sham. Is there anything like forgiveness in law and especially after committing a heinous crime is the parade to encourage the rest to surrender or to embolden those in the forest to think that at last nothing will happen to them they are spies beware now all we push them come for bush give them food those lunatic will go back to bush where they belong exactly and you want to tell us that our government is not aware and the politicians are not aware of this, or they are just trying to play, they trying to play low, to play cool, because they cannot fight them. How can the South continue with this forced marriage with the North in the face of this level of deceit from them? The best for us is to dissolve this madness we call federalism, because we the North, Nigeria, we the North, Nigeria will certainly sink eventually. They have nothing in them in terms of development, and they can never stop us if. Igbos and Yorubas go simultaneously. 
Most likely, it was the federal government that advised Boko Haram to apologize to Nigerians, but they deserve nothing short of death. The very day I will see Sunday Bugu and Nambikano be forgiven and giving special treatment, that is when I shall know that Buhari and the federal government really have a heart to forgive. You cannot, you cannot say, be deceiving Nigerians and telling us that uh, you are doing a uh, what is it? <laughs> mm, this is unbelievable. Yes, all all know that that except the sadists who want arrest and persecute them. By fire, by force. Some Americans and some people do not need any forgiveness from desperate sadists. They are neither terrorists nor criminals. They are freedom fighters and Sorosuke generation. So they don't need forgiveness because you cannot be pampering your brothers who rendered many women, widows, and children orphans in the name of repentance. And someone says, No, I don't believe in that repentance because they have not committed the same offense these people who have committed and been given pardon. They have not committed the same offense. Can devil ever repent? The only thing the devil does is excellently well is to deceive. As for repenting, he can never change, but he will gleefully deceive the gullible and careless people into thinking he has repented. His aim or their aim is to bring more harm and deal more deadly blows on the innocent. That is what is playing out right before our eyes, bloodthirsty Boko Haram are devils. They can never repent, and so Nigerians should not allow themselves to be deceived by these insurgents, for they are devils. Remove them from circulation if Nigeria really wants peace. <laughs> but you want to tell us that you know that they and they cannot repent, and the government is saying that they have repented, and the government believes, government believes them. And that is why you see that people always say that the government is still aware of this whole thing. It's just a deception. Northerners are deceiving themselves and they will continue to suffer in the hands of their own people. As long as they attack terrorists, they should be treated as such. No forgiveness, they should be eliminated at once unless their sponsor have another plan for them for 2023. Ah, they will tell you that uh, those who are calling for breakup of Nigeria, they are, the one, they are a threat to national security. But all these ones that are known terrorists, they are known terrorists who Bobuari will forgive them. Boko Haram repents. <laughs> nah, I don't believe. I don't believe this. Nigeria don't want to forgive those that are the dead who in our correctional centers. But can pardon Boko Haram killers? Abba, some have been have been in death row for donkey years. Can't we release those ones and replace them with this so-called? Repentance, Boko Haram.